Color 3D printing is becoming more and more popular, and with all these 3MF files, what do you do if you want to just go take a 3MF and print it in a program like Cura in one color? I'm Jason from Zyke.com, and today I'm going to show you a few ways that you can do that. Okay, so here we have a fresh window of Cura open, and what we're going to do with our 3MF file is open file. Take a second here. For whatever reason, Cura likes to orient 3MF files based on where they were modeled in the software and not center them on the build plate. Not sure why it does that. But a 3MF file is made up of multiple pieces. And so if we start moving this around, it's going to get all messed up on the placement. Let me undo that. We're going to hit Control A to select the file. And we're going to right click and group the models together. Now this will move as one piece. Once we've done that, you can center the selected model and slice it. You can also do that with any other files you want to pull in and slice at the same time. Here we're going to pull in the spine that goes with the, the tone cover. It's separated in pieces, so we're going to group that model. And we can center it. Now we can just arrange all our models and um, set up your slicer settings and slice the file as normal. Cura finished slicing, and if we go to the preview mode, you can see that it is ready to throw on your 3D printer. Another option you have when you are working with 3MF files is you can pull them into a slicer that works with them all the time, such as Bamboo Labs um, Slicer or Prusa Slicer. Both of these programs are set up to use multicolor printing. So you can go ahead and open your file. Let's just pull in another um, 3MF file here. I'll just do the Dragon Tome again that we were working on. So it's going to load that. Yes, it has multiple objects. We know that. So now all of these pieces are separated out. You can see here all of these. So if I change this, this is a separate piece. Um, all of these are easy to color now with the 3 MF files. But if you're not doing that, if you just want to use it like an STL, you can click up here on File, click Export, Export All Objects as One STL. You can go ahead and click Save. And now, if you were to go back into Cura, back in Cura, we can open that STL file that we just saved out. And now you don't have the problem with Cura putting the file off the bed or uncentered. And now you can just slice that model as well. And uh, it will slice it maybe a little faster because it's a joined STL file here. So that uh, is a second option you have to work with a 3MF file. Prusa Slicer is also capable of doing the exact same thing we just did in uh, Bamboo Slicer. You can open uh, a 3MF file. Yes, it contains multiple objects. Move it around so it's not in the way there. And then you can choose Export. Export plate as STL or OBJ. And here, just in the drop down, you would choose STL. And we'll go ahead and do put a second number there. So we have that. And this will be the export from Prusa Slicer. And you can take that file into Cura. Back in Cura, we can um, take the second STL we have there and import it. and Slice this file as well. OK, and if you preview that file, you can see that it's sliced that just like an STL file. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you like this kind of content and want to see more, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow it. Let me know down in the comments what other type of 3D printing content you'd like to see, more tips and tricks, maybe designing more things behind the scenes. Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.